order. Should we expect to see more cases over the weeks and months ahead? If it's a conversion cluster, Drew, we'd see an increase in cases to a point. We don't exactly know what that is. It may have already passed, and then you start to see a decrease. It's a very treatable condition. So in terms of treatment, conversion is not a bad answer to this question. Well, and a reminder that if it's a toxic insult to the brain, that's a worse prognostic situation than conversion. And what we just heard, for we have Charlene and Lana out there in Leroy, and I want to go to you guys. I've got a bunch of Facebook questions. The first one just came to me. It's from Susan Facebook. What do you say to... What do you say to people out there who insist these girls are faking? <laughs> Live with the girls for just one week and you'll see that they're not faking. You can't fake something like this. There's way too much pain yeah. and just the way that they twitch or the way that their outbursts are, are it's impossible to fake. And, and let's a reminder that conversion is not faking. It's not malingering, which is a different disorder. It's not conscious. You just can't say snap out of it. Right. You've got to find a way to address an underlying problem. And then, Dr. Tripp, you actually brought an article in which I found interesting. It, can, I, can I have that article? Sure. It, it's an article he just brought in from a, an academic setting about the occurrence of mental illness following early childhood exposure to trichloroethylene. We've been talking about uh, tri uh, excuse me, tetrachloroethylene. Correct. We've been talking about trichloroethylene. And what they found is that people who were exposed to this in drinking water had more psychiatric symptomatology later on. So here's another possible link, a reminder that psychiatric symptoms come from the brain. And the brain, we don't fully understand it, and there can be limited insults that could predispose to bringing out something like a conversion, say. We're affected by our environment, both uh, you know, toxically and uh, in terms of healing as well. It's very